Hello everyone, this is Group 5. We are made up of Coley Stevens, Ellen Dunn, Elizabeth Barnett, and Isaac Wiggins. Our topic today is real world application. We agree that many students get bored today in, in the classroom. They need real world application to help broaden their learning experience. A quote we have today by Mark Prinsky from Teaching Digital Natives is, Students in our classroom are changing largely as a result of their outside of school experiences with technology and are no longer satisfied with an education that doesn't immediately address the real world in which they live. The traditional teaching method has one major flaw. It does not show children how what they learn is applicable to real world situations. Often one will hear children say, when will I ever need this or why do I need to learn this? However, there is a solution. After school, no one tells kids what they learn or do. They follow their interests and passions, often becoming quite expert in the process. The reason why children are learning more after school is because they are actually interested in what they are doing after school. So what we need to do is bring students' interests into the classroom. And World World application allows them to do just that. Here are some ways to bring real world application into the classroom in all subjects. Field trips, guest speakers, digital games, having an audience, current events, and even outside observations. Here are more examples of project-based learning in each subject. Real world application to math. In the Make It Real Connecting Math to Real Life video, it shows students how to calculate the how to film a football game from the center of the football field from the sky. They have to use pre-cal lessons with trig functions to figure out where exactly on the field and what height it should be able to view the whole entire stadium. The students need to know the purpose of each lesson they are doing in each subject. Real world application in social studies. Many people say that history is dead. To really uh, get our students hands on and using real world application, we will use current event discussions, reenactment of historical events and field trips, and we will, we will discuss uh, town conflicts, such as new things being installed and things of that nature to really cover social studies. Real world application in English and language arts. Journaling and reflection allow students to reflect on their own work and see how they are learning and progressing. One method of doing this is the KWL strategy in which uh, students can write down what they already know about the subject, what they predict they will learn about the subject, and what they actually learned. Another method is blogging. Blogging can be used for many methods. One way to use this is to write choose your own adventure stories. In this method, children write their own chapter of a story, and then their classmates choose what will happen in the next chapter of the story to really connect all the students in the classroom together. It also allows students to, present, to learn how to present themselves properly online, which will help them um, when they want future employment in their careers. Real world application in science can be found in experiments, which are real or virtual, current events, such as natural disasters going on around the world, outdoor observations, which is a great way to get kids out of the classroom and into real life. And one example of a PBL assignment comes from the UNC School of Education. And this is a tulip garden project in which kids plant their own tul tulip bulbs. And this project prompts kids to ask about weather and seasons and this is a great way to show kids how questions are more important than answers. And really that's the whole purpose of real world application is for students to realize the importance of these questions and to, gauge, and to engage them in their own learning. And here are our sources for this project. The end. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs>